An important concept to understand in order to utilize Ableton Live for theater playback is the difference between tracks and scenes. Here we can see an Ableton Live set with four audio tracks and five scenes. The four audio tracks are easy to identify as they run vertically. The five scenes are also easy to identify as they run horizontally. Tracks vertically, scenes horizontal. All Ableton Live tracks and scenes can be renamed in order to help organize and label. Here I will rename all four audio tracks by selecting the track header, right clicking and selecting rename, or by using the key command, command R. I will now rename the five scenes in order to reflect a theater cue playback sheet. Modifiers can be added to the scene names in order to control global transport control parameters such as BPM, and time signature. We will touch back on these modifiers with a more thorough explanation in regards to the capabilities they add in the advanced musical playback lesson.